to a plant four main processes are very important in order to live grow and reproduce can you name the first one that's right it's photosynthesis the other three are transpiration transportation and reproduction the process by which plants produce food is called photosynthesis as you'll remember from last year here's a recap it takes place in the leaves of a plant leaves contain a green substance called chlorophyll photosynthesis takes place in the presence of sunlight water chlorophyll and carbon dioxide chlorophyll in the leaves converts light from the sun into energy the plant receives water and minerals from the soil the plant receives carbon dioxide from the air when the energy received from the sun is combined with carbon dioxide water chlorophyll and minerals food is produced in the leaves in the form of a sugar called glucose food produced in the leaves helps the plant to grow and produce flowers and seeds which in turn give birth to new plants during the process of photosynthesis plants release oxygen into the air oxygen is a gas which humans and animals breathe now let's move on to transpiration transpiration is the process by which water evaporates through leaves the underside of leaves have tiny holes called stomata these stomata open up during the process of photosynthesis and water evaporates through them transpiration helps to keep plants cool without water plants become limp and eventually die for this reason the water that plants lose through transpiration needs to be replaced this is where transportation comes in there is a whole system in plants by which water is transported to different parts in fact it isn't only water transported but glucose and minerals as well dissolved in the water transportation in plants takes place through two types of tubes xylem and phloem Xylem is a thick and strong tube which carries water and minerals from the roots to the leaves. Phloem transports glucose from the leaves to other parts of the plant.